Been playing Fortnite for hours now? Arlie, what are you doing? Fortnite? Five, four, Do it. three, just hit! Do it! I don't know why Sony decided that it was a smart idea to pull Spidey out of the MCU. What the hell is going on here, man? It's only Sony, bro. Only Sony. Anyways, here we go. No! No! Sony, no! Back! No, Disney! Marvel, no! What are you doing? I don't, no! Can't, yo, can't we just no. get along, guys? What? I didn't do anything! <laughs> <laughs> guys, it was breaking crazy. news! This is serious stuff. Disney and Mama Disney and Papa Marvel. Wait, no. Sony. It's Papa Sony and Mama Disney are fighting. Because Spider-Man is potentially leaving the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Disney and Sony Pictures will no longer share Tom Holland's web slinger. This is very early. This is a de developing story that just came out. So if, okay, that is horrible. But my thing is, is like, if Tom Holland is still going to be the same, if it's still going to be the same actor over at Sony, but just with Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios and Disney out of the picture. My question is, how is that going to work out? Because, like, are they just going to completely cut ties and just Tom Holland still going to Spidey Adventures, same cast, whatever? It doesn't make sense. Like, are they going to tie out the MCU or are they going to make references just with Spider-Man not involved? Like, it doesn't make sense. What the hell is going on? You better not be doing this. Don't ruin you, this. What Come is on. going on? Well, Joe, you want to know what, how this came? So Deadline is reporting this news. Do not fuck with our characters, guys. Seriously, please, for the love of God. So the issue, as it often does, reporting money. comes down to money. Shocker. <laughs> money. Money. <laughs> Sony Pictures has obviously owned the rights to the Spider-Man franchise yeah. for decades, and it found great success with the character. You know, you had the Sam Raimi films, Tobey Maguire films, which has made those in, in way back in the 2000s already grossed nearly $2.5 billion. So this is a case saying Sony is the one that built up Spider-Man when Marvel wasn't around, when Marvel didn't care. I mean, yeah, they kind of did make Spider-Man popular with the Sam Remy movies. But like, and then Andrew Garfield's was okay. But I mean, uh, I mean, I would doubt. I mean, I guess you could say, yeah, they kind of made Spider-Man popular. But like. MCU Spider-Man made him mega popular, like brought him to a whole new level. So, but it's not, it's not the same. And when Disney didn't care, Sony put did a lot of the hefty, heavy lifting. Now, of course, Marvel has come in and has made their universe amazing and, and great. And, you know, there was at one point where Marvel was about to go out of business, right? Yeah. So you, you can make a case that, that Sony has built up the character. But Sony films aren't that good, you know, in, in recent times, right? The good films are with Marvel Studios because they know what they're doing. That's why Disney has them and put money into that. So what happened is they were sharing the character, right? And that's why we got all those movies. They entered an unprecedented agreement with Disney and Marvel. Essentially, Disney got to use Tom Holland's version of Spidey in their Marvel Studios movies. 2016's Captain America, Avengers Infinity War 2018, and then of course Endgame. And Marvel Studios chief Kevin Feige produced the Sony Picture Spider-Man movies for them and integrating those films within the MCU, making Sony's films better, right? Because you've got Which a smart dude. You did. Yeah. <laughs> you got a smart dude with Kevin. You got, you know, Tony Stark. You got, you know, all those stars going over and, and making the Sony films better and giving their advice. Well, what happened? Well, Spider-Man, uh, you know, Homecoming obviously was a hit. And now Spider-Man Far From Home is a huge hit. It has become Sony's number one highest grossing film of, of all time with $1.1 billion. Okay, this is more than Skyfall, which was their previous leader. So now they are making a lot of money. Okay, <laughs> it's like one of the only mega blockbuster hits that wasn't financed by Disney this year. 
So what's going on? Well, now, according to this report, Disney uh, stipulated to Sony that now it wants to split future Spider-Man movies 50-50. <laughs> Give me oh, some money. <laughs> oh, we're making all the money on our films. And, you know, you know that deal that we let you have Spider-Man? How, how much money you make? Uh, Whoa, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. <laughs> All right, let go 50-50 on the next one. Well, Sony was like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of dumb in a way because, okay, they're using Spider-Man, right? This is what pisses me off about Sony because Disney want to renegotiate the deal and say, okay, we gave y'all a trial run. We let you have your, your rights of Spidey in our MCU. We set things up. This franchise is going to get bigger and bigger. It's going to make mega bucks. All we ask is for a 50 50 split. And Sony says, no, we want to keep all the money. That's not how you do business. You can't get anywhere doing that, bro. What the what the hell, Sony? You're so damn petty, Sony. Like, come on. Like, I get y'all broke. I get y'all struggling. But you can't keep it all to yourself. This could have been a beneficial relationship. Great for fans. I mean, this would have been great for growth for you guys. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Like, y'all putting yourselves in a bad position right now, bro. What do people... T- decide to boycott and actually do it. I'm not talking about like cancel culture like mm, Sony is over party. I'm talking about if people actually decide okay I do not want to go watch another Tom Holland Spider-Man film due to the fact that Spider-Man is not an MCU anymore. That's going to hurt y'all severely. You're going to make these movies with Tom Holland and it's not going to work out well. And then you guys are going to come prancing back to Disney. It's not a good look, man. Well, you know, what happened to the deal where we keep the profits from that and you keep the crop profits from your films? Uh, well, basically, you know, well, Sony was like, no. And Disney said, all right, <laughs> fine. We're going to remove Kevin Feige. <laughs> That's basically Sony right there beating the hell out of Spider Man. Those Marvel Studios as the producers <laughs> of your future films and just basically kick the character out of the MCU sandbox. So is that going to ruin the other movie? Because there's no Nick Fury, there's no scroll. What the (laughs) fuck is going on, guys? This is a developing story here. This this is a great Twitter reaction to this. Tom Holland, when he finds out he has to be in a Sony-made Spider-Man movie. (laughs) Tom, no! (laughs) Do not, I repeat, do not let this happen. He's money-grubbing. Motherfuckers. Well, it's, it's not final, so Can't play. Come on. It's not final, right? This yes. is a developing story, right? But these guys can't fucking play nice together when you start to make in the billions of dollars, okay? Um, it's ridiculous. If these, two, it, like, if, like, the fact that Sony can't give a 50 50 split, what if the next Spider Man makes 2 billion? Let's say it has this outlier success where they are able to make Spider-Man like this next big character that leads the MCU and then when it comes to that major conflict Spider die, Spider-Man dies Yeah, man you guys got to share the character Sony has a little bit of some rights here they hold the rights to the character right mm-hmm. now it's up to Disney and Marvel if they want if they don't want Sony to have a say in things they need to buy out Spider-Man. You know, they have Disney bought out Star Wars. Do you think they're going to charge him like Sony be like, "All right, you want to buy him out?" 7 billion dollars. <laughs> 8 billion dollars, right? <laughs> Co- distribution <laughs> right to <system>. Hey. <laughs> Disney might do that shit, bro. Disney be like, "Look, all right, man, throw a number. Throw a number." <laughs> they say 10 billion. Gotcha. Because, like, I don't think people understand. Like, Disney's approaching the trillion dollar mark. You know, like, Disney's huge. So, showing out a ton of cash for Spidey. Didn't, like, here's the thing they're going to make their money back with Spidey. Period, dude. Huge. But well, they've shared since 2017 Spider Man Homecoming. And a failure to come to terms has essentially 
Jettison, Feige, and Marvel from future Spidey projects. Does this mean that you know now we're now unfortunately <laughs> Tom Holland has to be in Sony led movies where they don't have the you know uh, good advice? Then how can you forget your father figure, Tony? Right. Well, Come you on. forgot about him. It's like we don't then, speak of him now. It's like. He was your mentor. How dare you? <laughs> and then maybe, maybe uh, he goes into uh, what's the Venom's universe. So finally, Sony's like, all right, we got the character back. Oh, now we man. need to combine them. You know how so we Tom feel Hardy, about Venom. So Tom Hardy and Venom. You know, well, it, it could have been better, and it well, can yeah. be better. But you know, I like aspects of it. Uh, does this may mean that the character can now interact with Venom? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just hope that this is a misunderstanding and that they continue negotiations because uh, I can't be losing. Because the only person you're hurting is Tom. Can't you're hurting Tom. <laughs> you're Stop hurting it. Tom. He's a nice guy. <laughs> I'm just about the only person. I don't understand what's happening here. I don't want to go. 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 Please. <laughs> Guys, seriously, figure oh this shit out, okay? Hopefully, um, you know, negotiations are ongoing, but it's like, damn, they're gonna need to figure this out in the future, though. Seriously. Yeah. yeah but Sony. But ultimately, if well, I had to choose, the money. if I had to choose, I'm gonna side with Marvel and Disney. Number one, it's their character. Yes, you brought them up and made a lot of money with them in the past, but it's like. We're doing it right. <laughs> You're, you know, I don't know if you could be trusted with the character. And I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, at just, uh, just break it. Then because this story came out so hot. But you know what? I already felt the damn angry rant on it. I, I don't want to not put up this angry rant. So here, Deadline, I think, was the one uh, that came out with the story. But I just looked at Collider, <clears throat> and Collider has an update. So the update is, a studio insider told Collider, this comes down to producer credit only, and our understanding is negotiations are ongoing. So what does that exactly mean? That they don't want, the, that if Kevin Feige is gonna serve as producer, he wants a credit, but in order to get that credit, Disney wants to go from five to 50%? That's bullshit. Now they're over asking. So no wonder, you know, Sony was like, no. Let's go to Deadline and see if there's an update there. No comment from Marvel or Disney or Sony Pictures. So it's still ongoing. Oh, no, update. Sony Insiders counter that Rothman did offer compromises, but Disney declined. Ah, oh, this is <laughs> conflicting. <laughs> conflicting <you> update. <laughs> 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 Guys, stop screwing around with Spider-Man. Seriously, the, the, the films have been great. Let's let's keep this going. We don't need another goddamn reboot, please, okay? No, no stop more. It. <laughs> no more. So I dug up a little mo more information. Before you go, check this out. I'll make it very short, just so you understand. So way back in the day, right, when, when things were bad, uh, Canon Films had the, the rights. They went bankrupt, which sucks because they fucked up Superman too. Christopher Reeve <laughs> Superman. And the character changed hands several times. Litigation over the ownership left it in court for years. It wasn't until 1999 that Marvel finally reclaimed the film rights from Canon and then it sold it to Sony for $7 million, Joe. They, they, said, they actually said, Sony, you can have all of the film rights to our characters for all of our characters for $22 million. But Sony was like, we only want Spider-Man. So it's $7 million. So get this, <laughs> the, the update is Sony has the rights, period. They're, 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 they own the rights to the movies, meaning that you can't get them back if Sony doesn't want to sell them. That's the crazy part. And if they do sell them, it's going to be a lot more for $7 million. Oh, yeah. It's going to be like $7 billion. <laughs> <laughs> like I said earlier, right? Okay. But, so here's the plan. So Sony uh, recently said that Sony has seven to eight years of content planned for their Spider-Man because it's theirs and they're doing this, right? And yeah, then in 2015, yeah. Sony struck a five-movie deal with Marvel Studios, which permitted Spider-Man to be a part of the cinematic universe. And that's what we're talking about right now. And get this, the contract was revealed that if Spider-Man Far From Home doesn't make a billion dollars, then Sony can break free of the Marvel Studios deal and do its own thing. But guess what? From all these recent reports, it has been revealed that uh, Spider-Man has made uh, one billion dollars, right? So what? how much did it make? 1.1 billion dollars, which means that Marvel then still has the right 
uh, to do their third film like they wanted to do, okay? So the Sony and Marvel studio deal will still hold at least for one more solo Spider-Man movie. Uh, and, and because it broke the one billion mark, mm -hmm. okay? So they're locked into that if you guys are worried about that. But this is still a big news story because Sony Pictures owns the rights, period. <laughs> so after they get to do their, neck, their third film in collaboration with Sony, which, you know, is at the one after Far From Home, uh, you know, it, then what do they do from there? That's when these two are going to continue to fight, right? And, and it's gonna be fucking crazy. So, the whole video still applies, the whole angry rant still applies, but it apply, it's gonna show up again after the third film, since this film made a billion, so Sony is contractually obligated to do this. I guess they're fighting over they're producer like, credits. It. We didn't know now. that was gonna happen. <laughs> they're already starting to fight before they even finish the goddamn five picture deal or whatever deal it is, and, and they're gonna do that. But, see, so Marvel Studios has cleverly bought 20th Century Fox where the X-Men which was the other really big generating one was. right Deadpool was. and, and X-Men right was well it's going to be even more now when they integrate it in here Joe but the last big ones left is Sony they got Spider-Man and Venom those clever bastards but what is this over here Lionsgate man fuck you Lionsgate what did you have man thing <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much they bought that for. Last game is like, uh, co oh, we'll come in and We have a superhero too, guys. dollars <laughs> Get no. that shit out of my face. <laughs> Yo, that's Marvel Studios' character. I don't know. It must have changed hands when they were playing poker one day. And Lionsgate was at the table. And then finally, Universal Pictures has Namor. Right? That's fucking stupid too. But who knows, man. You made Thor fucking badass. And Thor, I never really considered to be top tier and awesome. Uh, but he is now, so who knows? So I will say, I don't know, man. I feel like Marvel Studios needs to get all the characters back. They already bought 20th Century Fox. So they've got those characters. They need to get Sony Pictures. They need to get not Namor. 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 I don't know how to say his name. And I don't know what man thing is. <laughs> Uh, but Marvel could get those back. So I'm, I'm pretty sure Marvel doesn't give a fuck about Namor and Man Thing. No. But they do give a fuck about these, which they were clever. They bought 20th Century Fox, got all those characters back. They just need to get Spider Man and Venom. And Sony knows it. So Sony has them over the barrel, Joe. They do, because they own the rights. And unless you give them $7 billion, <laughs> they ain't giving them back to you. That's the story. What do you guys think? Comment down below. There's the full context and everything right at the end of the video. Sorry about that. And uh, but now you know. See you guys on the next Angry Joe show. Big news. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video, man. That was crazy. Hopefully, Sony gets over themselves. Um, tell me what you think below. Peace. Why are we playing Fortnite?